Well, uh, as you say, the stock market is a leading indicator, not vice versa. In other words, the stock market is a leading indicator to the economy, not vice versa. And the uh, market, stock market looks ahead, usually by about six months. And so uh, back in 2009, March of 2009, it was so uh, extreme that uh, people were jumping in, rightly so, and uh, because they figured that it couldn't get worse. And sometimes it starts moving up because it f people feel it couldn't get worse. And there were opportunities, there were bargains at that time, when if you want to talk about peas or whatever you want to talk about, I mean, there were rid ridiculous times. By the way, the last time we had something like that, and, and you may know that I'm very much the, 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 the inventor and the prop propagator of a 40-year cycle, and the last time we had something like that was in 1974, interestingly, roughly 40 years ago, when Peter Lynch put together a list of 100 stocks, uh, which were then trading below five dollars, were trading at two PE and still paying a dividend. And he said, "Okay, I'm going to buy all hundred stocks. I know probably thirty of them will go bankrupt, but I still figure the rest of the seventy will double or triple." As it turned out, there was only about five that really actually went bankrupt. So it, it was—it's a perfect opportunity. That's what we had in March. Now we have gone from seven hundred, uh, roughly thereabouts, on the S and P all the way to almost 1250, 1300. So we have had a good move. And the market prob market was getting tired towards the end of the year. And our last market comment said that the market was ready for a pause. Now, I didn't expect the market to end as strong as it did because the year, and I thought like, we would start slowing down before the year was over. But I think a lot of people were very happy to sit on profits and show it in their books how smart they were by, by having winning stocks in their portfolio. So now we actually starting to slow down, except for the one day, uh, Monday in New York, we have the last two days, we've been really, really meandering. And of course, uh, gold came down and therefore Canadian market has been, has been weak in the last couple of days. But, um, so our forecast is for, um, for a kind of a meandering I used the word meander when I talked to London and people said, you North American always talk about meandering market. What the hell is a meandering market? <laughs> I said, would you believe if I said uh, between a narrow trading rate? Ah, oh, I understand narrow trading range. <laughs> anyway, we're likely to have a meandering market in a narrow trading range for the month of January. And uh, we will then continue because this market is not yet, the market is not yet over. Uh, if you figure uh, March of 09, if we were at March of 2011, then that would have been two, two years. In other words, we're getting very close to being two years in a bull market. And that's not necessarily the end of the bull market that usually lasts more than two years. In fact, as I...